Imagine that you are about to purchase a set of movie theater tickets. Okay, first visit the home screen. Okay, so right now what I'm seeing is this pop-up window here for AMC theaters. It says, welcome. Let us show you the most popular features so you can take advantage of our site. This will just take a minute. So right now I'm just supposed to see the home screen. So let me press no thanks. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so first of all, describe the home screen and my impressions of it. So right now uh, what I'm seeing here at the top is it looks like it's a almost like a PowerPoint slideshow of different uh, movies that are about to play. Like right now I'm seeing a, game, a dangerous game of trust. And this looks like it's for an interview for that film. At the top, I, it looks like if I go to this menu, I can scroll and I can see, um, let's see, stub list, join AMC stubs, see a movie, our theaters, food and drinks, on demand and extras. I guess that's a search button. And then the ticket item, it says here, show times. Okay, so that's so far the information I'm seeing. Okay, so it's a little hard for me to continue scrolling because now as I was trying to scroll, it looked like see a movie option was the first thing that uh, kind of showed up with the information. So let me take a deeper look. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just trying to go back. Okay, so that's weird. So. It seems like when I was trying to hover down towards the screen, I couldn't really see any extra information. So now if I get away from trying to hover away, look, um, then I, I can see some other options. So, so far I see stubs, uh, A-list, I guess this is some sort of special deal. Okay, um, I can't really see anything else. Uh, let me see, oh, that's weird. That's not really user friendly. <laughs> Um, that's kind of confusing. So right now, the first thing I'm seeing is movies at AMC. I see what it looks like dog fan first premieres. Um, okay. So it looks like this is a way I could possibly get tickets chartered. And if I guess if I press right or left, I could see some more movie options. Then if I scroll down, um, unmask the flavor, capture the delicious duo of drinks or the bat kick of Coke Creighton. Kraken, sorry, black spice rum and Coke, or try the cat made with Kendall Jackson, Riesling, and aha, blueberry pomegranate, sparkling water. Catch them while you can. Okay. $5 combo just for teens. Get the coupon. Teens is tasty deal. So I guess this is a deal for teenagers. So what I'm seeing so far, I guess if I have to share my impressions, it's overwhelming. It's kind of cluttered. I'm seeing like a lot of different types of um, information. And I guess that's kind of expected as I'm going to a homepage right now. Like, I guess this slideshow deal maybe shows different types of movies um, and promotions. That's my guess. And then movies at AMC. Um, it's It looks like it's some sort of slideshow. And then um, I guess if I keep scrolling down, I'll see, oh my God, see that keeps happening. Like, look, if I do that, then I can't like go back. That's really hard. I see items for drinks. It looks like there's a special for food and drinks. Uh, okay, then if I scroll down here, it looks like it's another movie description, The Godfather 50 Years. So it looks like you have the title here and then the description about what the movie is. And then Foo Fighters first feature album. Okay. So it looks like as I continue to scroll, I'm going to see more information about movies uh, and kick back with a private theater rental. So it looks like what I'm seeing so far is that at least for AMC, you can see different types of maybe movies or specials like this $5 uh, soda deal, or you can have the option to rent the theater. Um, so let's see here. Godfather of all fan gear. That could, why couldn't you just clump that with the Godfather here? Like put Godfather 50 years and the merchandise maybe in one link. I don't know. I think that could be a cool suggestion. See more offers and promotions. So I guess I could use that option. And then I noticed the social media handles like Facebook, Twitter, was that YouTube, uh, Instagram and Pinterest. And then there's information about the company, I guess, different types of movies, programming. I'm not really sure what the programming is. Oh, Indian cinema, Asian Pacific cinema, Pantales, AMC film festivals, sensory friendly films, groups and event, more AMC stubs, gift cards, AMC scene, 
request refund, business clients, and that's the end of the page. So it's a lot of information. It's I feel like it's kind of like a full information load. So it looks like clearly, see, that's what's happening again. Like when I'm trying to summarize the front page, this information from the top, it it's like I can't continue to scroll on the first content from the first page without seeing the information from this top menu bar that doesn't really let me see anything else from the home page. Um, so, um, okay, so let's see here. So now I'm going to go ahead and click to the next step. Okay, so... Um, where will you go to purchase two matinee movie tickets for dog scheduled for March 15th? Okay, so let's see. I guess what I'm going to do is maybe see a movie. Okay, so I think maybe I'll go under see a movie here at the top menu. And then let's see movies at AMC. Da, 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 da. Where do I see it? Uh-huh, dog. So that was one of the first things that popped up. So my assumption is here... I would go ahead and click on that link and um, I'm assuming that if I were to uh, click that link then maybe I could um, proceed to buying the movie ticket theater. Um, I think another thing I could probably do is if I go here to show times at the top maybe that'll also direct me to the uh, dog movie. Okay so those are the things that I think will happen. Where can you find movie ticket promotions? Okay, so it's not really showing me how to get back to the home screen. So that's not really user friendly at all. Um, but where would I purchase? Um, was it promotional tickets? Um, maybe it's premium offerings. I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, let's see, thrills and chills, AMC signature reclinings. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe if I go here, yes. Okay. So let's see, food and drinks, on-demand extras, see a movie, our special content, on-demand, earn three times the points. Okay, um, I think I would go under uh, see a movie and maybe special content and events. Maybe I would go under $5 fan faves. And okay, so AMC fan faves, movies that must be seen on the big screen. So I'm guessing this is what um, where I would see the promotions because none of the movie tickets were this much. So it's showing me a list of $5 films here. Um, so what did I expect to see? Um, I guess I was expecting to see movies that were going to be more discounted, maybe like old films, uh, like, I don't know, Back to the Future. But what I'm seeing here um, is Encanto, which is a really recent film. And I see American Underdog, uh, which was back in 2021, which is also really recent in Dune. So I wasn't expecting to see newer films here. Okay, so I wasn't expecting to see newer films here. Okay, so now imagine that you are that you will purchase two adult tickets and one child ticket for the five dollar fan faves, Encanto film and a large popcorn. Stop when you get to the checkout line. So I guess I'll. Wow, where is that? That's really frustrating. So let me press the Encanto film here. Okay, so it's loading. Okay, okay. So I see here I can get the tickets. So let me go ahead and select get tickets here. And right now it wants me to purchase, let's see here. Um, sorry, let's see. Center dial. Okay, so let's see. Um, right now it wants me to purchase. So I went down to the movie link and then I see here uh, Regency 20. Um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this ticket. So I'm going to go ahead and buy here. I think this would be a good section. I'll buy these three different seats here. Uh, H11, H10, and H9. I'll press continue. Okay, so it said uh, two adult tickets and one child ticket. Okay, so, oh, three remaining tickets. Okay, never mind. I guess I can't buy one, two, I guess they're all going to have to be adult tickets. Um, so that's a little misleading there. And then a uh, large popcorn and a large drink. Um, it just gives me the option to 
order a large popcorn. So I'm going to go ahead and press continue. Um, maybe that'll add more options. I don't see anywhere else to add a large drink. So right now, three tickets. Uh, and let's see, convenience fee, combos. Okay, so it said a large popcorn. So as I went down here to the, I guess this is a checkout area. Um, let's see here, traditional popcorn, gourmet popcorn. Um, let's see, I think it's a large traditional popcorn. It didn't say anything about a gourmet. So I'm gonna do the large. Geez, popcorn is expensive, $9.59. And I'm gonna add that to the order. Okay, and so I'll stop when I get to the checkout line. So let me press continue over here. And then um, fees, $33.50. Who's picking up? Okay, so uh, let's see here. Pick up date and time. M. So I'll go ahead and continue. I'll put in my information here and now, okay. So now it's, I'm at the purchase area. So I was able to do all that information. And so did this meet my expectations? Why or why not? Uh, yes, this met my, yes, the, no, this did not. No, this action did not fully meet my expectations because I was hoping to have the ability to purchase a children's ticket in this category, but only adult tickets were remaining. So now next step, please share any final questions, suggestions, or thought before, thoughts before leaving the test. Uh, the home page is a little overwhelming because every time I accidentally scroll to the menu bar, I cannot see the rest of the contents from the home screen. I also wish it were easier to navigate to the $5 promotions and there should be an option for children's tickets under the buy promotions tab on your, your website.